Hello, in this presentation, we'll talk about test automation and network resource management. Specifically, we'll talk about the contribution of resource management to test automation with growing teams and in a distributed environment. We'll discuss a little background, define test resources, and look through different challenges and solutions through an example. Quality Systems provides an end-to-end -end test automation platform. It's a framework of different applications that are integrated to each other to provide a complete solution. We start from creating tests, executing them, executing in a distributed environment, collecting all that information, and analyzing that information. Everything is concentrated around a central database. We have a wide variety of different customers, from Chip and Flash, NEMS, service providers, aerospace, and others. What we found are similar challenges even though the environments might be very different. As long as test equipment is expensive and it's shareable, multiple users and multiple stations will be competing for that equipment. So let's run through a few definitions. A physical resource represents real equipment. It can be test and measurement equipment or it can be the device under the test itself. A logical resource can represent uh, some kind of a managed functionality. That is required, again, when working in a distributed environment. Local resources can be uh, in a single station, where distributed resources or shared resources are on the network and therefore uh, are accessed by multiple test stations. Let's look at a scenario. Our device under test is a Cisco router. What we want to check is that there's no traffic loss. The criteria, packet sent minus packet received, is less than 1%. I need to set up a topology, therefore I need to connect ports from uh, traffic generators to the different ports on the Cisco device for the test. Uh, once I have that connected, I can start with my uh, different steps in the test. First one is cabling everything up together. On my second, it's to configure the device to the type of service that I'm looking for. It can be done by uh, Telnet sometimes or uh, the device customized GUI and then need to access the traffic generators, each one with its own application in order to configure the type of traffic that I want and the type of statistics I'd like to collect, execute the traffic, and collect the results and analyze them, either with the vendor software or other types of uh, mathematical or statistical types of applications. At the end, I need to collect and log all that information, whether done manually or through an automated environment. Some automation is based over scripting where I'm using different scripts to control the equipment, to set up the, the flow of the test, to collect information, and to analyze it. Another direction is to use an application like the Test Shell Studio, where every step has a wizard that takes care of all the different components that are necessary in order to either control the equipment, analyze it, and report. But automation is a different story. Let's go back to resource management. First pain that we've met is changing the connections. So uh, I tested device under test number one yesterday, and now I need to test the, the other device. Um, so we can go back to that crazy uh, picture that we saw before of the different cables in the lab and start disconnecting connecting cables, or we can put a layer one switch in the middle. Then I only need to cable everything up once, and the layer one switch will be uh, in charge of changing and mapping the different links that I need to my next topology. Problem is, the text complexity grows since I need to insert into the text uh, the different commands in order to configure the layer one switch. And if the lab keeps on growing, that becomes even more complex. In even larger scales, we're talking about testing farms, clusters of layer one switches, and multiple labs that want to utilize all that equipment. This becomes nearly impossible to control directly from a test. So the solution would be to wrap all this cluster into one cloud and make sure that we have the method of calculating the solution through the cloud to get the path that we want and make sure that it's configured properly. So we need a service in the background and that service needs to give a solution according to a requirement. Ideally, the test will be completely unaware of the solution and the path. A different challenge is uh, sharing the resources in team development. We've got a number of members trying to write tests using the same resources, stepping on each other's toes. We've got the manager coming in and saying, okay, you two guys have these resources for the next week. 
But then what we find is that the utilization of the resources isn't near as optimal as it could be. The solution is to bring in a client server service that will allow locking and releasing resources, making sure that nobody ruins anything for anyone else. On top of it, we'll put a scheduling service so that we can allocate for specific times what resources will be utilized for whom. That solves many of the problems, but what we found is that it that also requires a rule engine since if somebody has been working for two hours and needs only five more minutes, but the next guy is coming in, we want to make sure that the higher priority will get the resource that it needs and we won't be wasting two hours uh, with no purpose. A different type of challenge is coordinated execution. I have multiple stations that want to share the resources. I want to launch these resources from remote and I want to make sure that this thing can work 24 hours a day. Uh, in order for something like that to happen, I need a centralized control over different stations that support remote control. And I need to be able to know how to match tests to different stations. Beyond that, I need to make sure that my central application can check what resources are required per test, what resources are available at each station, and which shared resources are required so that before starting execution, everything is reserved accordingly. So I have to have coordinated multiple service interaction where the central execution will be speaking directly with the resource management and will be checking with the scheduling service what's available when in order to get the optimal solution. What's really important is at the end of the day, I need to know what the test needs and what the stations have. And for that, I need to be able to attach different types of attributes or capabilities, some may be user-defined, so that the execution will know how to match the test to the relevant station. If we go up a notch, the test doesn't really care if it's getting one port of the XIA or another port of the XIA, as long as it's got the capabilities that the test scenario requires. So in this case, it's actually asking, hey, please give me some kind of port according to different rules. The solution for that is to make sure that we loaded up all the ports and all the rules and all the capabilities and the setup so that uh, the system will know by itself how to figure out what the solution is. In order to do that, we need to find all the resources, calculate the path that is necessary, reserve everything, configure everything, and we're ready to go. To sum everything up, resources need to be well-defined, their structure, as in chassis, card, port, or an oscilloscope with different channels. The capabilities, what kind of protocols, what kind of connection is it, and the rules on top of these capabilities so that we will know what can be connected to where and which test can be executed in which station. These different parameters need to be dynamic so that a customer, according to his own scenario, will be able to create the environment that it needs. The framework needs to be well integrated. The execution management needs to check with the scheduling and with the resource management what is available and until when. The development teams need to be coordinated with all these three and of course the different execution engines that are running on the different stations. All of this solution has to be scalable since already today we see thousands if not tens of thousands of different resources being managed within one environment. For additional information, please visit our website at qualisystems.com. Thank you very much.